A microphone check. A microphone check. Check. I had the. Uh, I had the. I had the mic off. Hot mic. Holler if you hear me. Microphone check. Lotty dotty. We like to party. I think we're good now. A lot going on in the market today. House of video. If anyone's watching. Oh, did I close my afterburner? I am mining the Bitcoin, and I am boosting the graphics card. So hopefully the video is good. See if this thing is still doing its thing. Yeah, I think it's still running. It probably just went to the sys tray. Getting 27, getting 27 millihashes now. Uh, I went off the rails yesterday. Went off the rails, boys and girls. I was looking at miners, looking at video cards, looking to put something together. Spent way too much time on it. You know me, dude. I I'm a I'm a engineer. I like to tinker. That's that's my kind of hobby. But I know, I know. It's probably better instead of just buying a miner, just buying more Ethereum. I guess there's a lot going on in crypto. A lot going on with my accounts, mostly that I'm losing money today. It's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty ugly. Yeah, I think that just goes down to the sys tray, I'm assuming. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, yesterday, I was discussing, two days ago, I was discussing how the NASDAQ was up and the VIX was up. So when the VIX is up and the NASDAQ's up, stock market's up, and that makes me nervous. We had a little bit of a flash crash. Not really sure what's going on. I think today, or we got a, we're waiting on a Fed announcement, and the Nasdaq is down about a hundred points right now. Stock market's going to open in about two minutes. The VIX is up quite a bit. Where's the VIX? The VIX is up a point and a half. I've mentioned numerous, several times that I'm a little worried about this stock market this year. There's a lot of people that think the bull market is just going to rage on. I'm not so sure. So my deltas, my long deltas have gone in this account from like positive 1600, which is pretty big. Yeah, you know, decent size down to about 600. I might start cleaning that up and taking more deltas off tonight, today, right around 1230, 1245 PST. I'm gonna live stream again. I'm out of control, boys and girls. We're gonna do Tesla, we're gonna do Apple, we're gonna do what else today? Tesla, Apple, Facebook, the Facebookers. Microsoft and AMD had earnings yesterday. AMD is actually down about three or four bucks and they had good earnings. And that's what I was discussing yesterday, man. It doesn't like that's kind of a sign, too, that makes me a little nervous. Uh, back back last earnings. The last round of earnings, everyone was, you know, year over year, their earnings were down because of, you know, the situation we got going on. Stock market don't care. Everything went up. So what's the opposite now? We got viruses. Now you got to recover. Now that you got to, you got to put the, the rubber's got to meet the road. So who the hell knows what's going to happen? You know, I've been, I've been waiting for a stock market crash ever since like 2013 and we haven't really got one. We had a pretty bloody couple months in 2018 i think and then you know we had that little v-shape flash crash last year so most of you boys and girls out there haven't been in the stock market long enough and i don't know how many of you were in the 2008 crash but that was pretty bloody uh that wasn't you know that took a little bit to recover from that was tough times even the United States credit rating got downgraded. I'm not, I don't really, I don't, I think that got re-back up, upgraded to whatever. Again, if you're out there, how's the video? I want to make sure it's good. I don't, I don't know that it is because I am mining Bitcoin and I'm overclocking my video card. So I just want to make sure the video is good. Is it, is it good out there, boys and girls? How is everyone doing? Yo, 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 how you doing, SGG? Is the video good? Because I'm, uh, I'm mining this, not Bitcoin, I'm mining Ethereum. I got my, I got my afterburner on, overclocking, overclocking the video card. I, it, the video looks good on my end. I just want to make sure it's good on your end. I was off the rails yesterday, SGG, looking at mining equipment. Uh, stock market is open now. 
Yep, it's a bloodbath. I'm down. Bloody good. Awesome. It is a bloody situation everywhere. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm inclined to ease up on some of these deltas. I've had a pretty good start to the year, mostly because I YOLO'd a Bitcoin future and made a ton of money off that. And that Bitcoin future is saving my ass right now on what would otherwise be some diesel losses. Uh, Tesla's down quite a bit. They do have earnings after the bell. Again, I am going to live stream earnings today, 1245. We're going to maybe even a bit earlier. And we'll, we'll shoot for 1230. Uh, 1230 PST in the place to be. Uh, I don't know. You know, I'll probably put some trades on, but... It, the testosterone's not flowing as much when you're getting your ass handed to you in cryptocurrency, when you're getting your ass handed to you in the market. I mean, I'm still up overall, but you know, like, like I always say, man, those those profits are in the books. I'm trying to retire. I'm not trying to lose my retirement money. I am somewhat considering or have considered taking Tesla, man, I don't know, taking Tesla off the board in my big account just because... Again, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's take a look at the uh, cryptos. As I mentioned yesterday, I thought we were going to go down more before we went up. I discussed going down into this downward trend line, this downward ch channel, and then bouncing up as opposed to continuing into the symmetrical triangle and going up. It's just that this that time of year, uh, you, you don't, you know, the news is kind of blind when it comes to Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. Nothing crazy going on. Somewhat being overshadowed by that GameStop. Oh my goodness, Tom. Why didn't you why didn't you grab them and buy that hundred shares at ninety-nine dollars? I'll tell you why, because you were being smart, you were being mechanical, and typically, you know, those are dumb plays. But man, that was history in the making. I could be in the storybooks. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem. I did do some follow-up on your hedging and discuss deltas and stuff so you might want to run that at 2x and find that spot but it basically just talks about and i've talked about it a lot you just really want to know where your deltas are and everything and how that is so you know basically what it comes down to you have 100 shares that's 100 deltas if the stock goes up 100 dollars, you're going to go up 100 dollars you could sell a covered call and that lowers it by this you know these are going to buy dynamic deltas so you just lower your your size your if it you lower the, how much you're going to win or lose directionally but this covered call if it never breaches it it's it's just free money i found a it's never in the books until you sell yeah i found a new seal i mean do tell brother what, what do you got going on <laughs> What's the secret spot? I got to tell you, if, let's see, how's the NASDAQ going? I think it, I, oh, dude, ooh, I was tempted to put on a NASDAQ short or two to hedge. I probably should have done that. Now it's down 220. Where's this, where's this NASDAQ going to go? Are we going to limit down? Let's see how my covered call on Tesla is doing. That might be up pretty nice. Uh, it's only up $53 for the day, man. The volatility, because so that's, that's what could kind of suck. As the stock market goes down, the volatility goes up, so the premium's going to be more. So the premium, and if it goes down fast, that premium could really skyrocket. So this covered call, you know, the premium goes up. Where did I have that? February? I thought it was, oh, we're on the wrong stock. I think it's February. I hope it's February. All right, March. Oh, yeah, man, I did go out to March. All right. So now there's only a 2% chance. That's down to about 580. Should probably roll this down, to be honest. Uh, what do you think? We can roll this down. I don't know, man. I uh, do not know. I do think, I think it's going to be a rough year for the stock market. I should have put on a NASDAQ catch. I think this is going to bounce. Ooh, no, that's not bouncing. It's down another 25 points. Let's, uh, let's go away from that screen for a second. What's this spec? SGG? 
Bitcoin is bit oh Bitcoin's below 30 and it's it's going below the 50 EMA. This this could flush down. Is it gonna hit this trend line at 28344? What about Ethereum? Ethereum, so both of these dip below this pretty big support line. Ethereum dip below this one. It's pushing kind of hard. Now, man, this one has quite a bit of room to go down. Really, this could go down to 1,050. Stick will become Bark Box. Chewy is worth 42 billion. Can't find the right answer, but it doesn't matter. What do you mean it can't find the right answer? Chewy can't find the right answer? Bark? Stick? Is it, how new is this? Was this on Reddit? Reddit R Specs? 13.18? They got warrants. How much are the warrants? 344. That seems like a lot for a stock that's only at 13 bucks. It seems pretty juiced up. Okay. Let's do this. Let's buy 10,000 shares of stick. And I'm, I'm putting all my faith in you. We're going to buy 10,000 shares of stick. I'm kidding. I'm not going to buy 10,000 shares of this. What do you think? I'm out of my mind. $130,000 on some secret spec. I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Let's buy 10 shares. Just to have it just to have it on the radar, see what it does. Let's see if SGG called this one right. He hasn't let me down. He hasn't let me down yet for the most part. I IPR, man. I was up I was up a good healthy Chipotle lunch on that yesterday into this market crash. Right, this is a bloody day. Let's see where we go. Where we go. Uh, tasty Chef. Tasty Chef. Tattoo Chef. Tattoo Chef's back on track after my negative review. I got an update. I ate the cauliflower and quinoa last night. Another round of whatever, man. Like... <laughs> Three dollars for this. I guess it's okay. I put it. I mixed it with lettuce and some refried beans and threw some hot sauce on it. It made it okay. I mean, I get it if you're lazy, you're on a diet, you just want to throw some. You know, that's another thing, man. This one, you microwave it. I do not like microwaving stuff in these plastic bags. I mean, you hear about just water bottles leaching plastic into the water out in the hot sun. What do you think that, what, what the hell is going on when you microwave it? There's almost no way you're just not eating plastic at that point. Anyway, quinoa and cauliflower, uh, Mediterranean. Dude, you could whip up that on your own. Probably tastes better. It's a bit of work though like you'd want a rice cooker cook up your quinoa in it i'm not sure how you I'm sure you just do the same thing with the cauliflower you can uh rice that up pretty easy with the food processor it's just more fud because the fed has to talk today and reaffirm all the market bond buying will continue just fun yeah it could be a shakeout i know the fed is talking today they need to they're going to discuss what they're going to do with bonds We'll have to see. I'm not like I'm not overreacting yet. I personally think the market. I wouldn't even be surprised the Nasdaq to go green today. Hard to say though. Like I was mentioning uh, last last earnings, a lot of companies year over year their earnings were bad, but they went up. You know, everyone's pricing in this recovery. Well, now is the market going to start pricing in the recovery? This happens. Stocks are too rich, and you know. And even is the are they really recovering what they expected? Who knows? AMD had really good earnings, and they're down. They're down seven bucks now. What the hell? That's not good for the good kids, especially this good kid right here. Uh, we got Neo calls. Those should be. Uh, we need to make more money off those. We're going to continue to let those go. I'm kind of okay with just getting rid of NEO in this account. I'm still kind of bullish long term, but I think there's better opportunities out there, especially 
I'm, I mean, I'm really considering. I want to see, like, again, I don't, if this goes down, if this Bitcoin and Ethereum continue to flush, it's going to be very painful over here in Casa de Nostra Thomas. But I might YOLO in a lot more because I think this is just one of those a lot going on again like the google trends on both bitcoin and ethereum are down a bit just that time of year you know early early time of year the the winter doldrums uh, it's kind of slow the grind is hard for a lot of people right now like for me personally we don't get you know they took away that uh, i think it was in california only maybe they added they made it so that you had to give employees three sick days so most business, you know what they did? All right, we'll give you your three sick days, but we're gonna take away President's Day as a vacation, and we're gonna take away the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday vacation. I'm like, well, that kind of sucks, because I don't hardly ever call in sick. <laughs> so I lose. Anyway, what was my point on that? I'm not sure now. <laughs> I just wanted to rant. No, no, I had to have a point. Um, oh, because the grind is tough now, right? You go from for me anyway, I don't know how this is for the rest of the world. If you're in the government, you get every other week off there's a holiday, right? But you know, after New Year's, man, I don't I go to like what is it in May? Labor Day, not Labor Day, uh Memorial Day. I think Memorial Day, right? I get those two confused. But I don't it's it's till May before I get a vacation or a day off, unless I take vacation, which I need to do. So I got quite a bit of that stacked up. But it's that, it's that tough time of year. It can get pretty stressful for a lot of people because there is a lot of work days. Even, even with just President's Day, it's, just, it's a pretty good long five-month stretch with just that one holiday. Uh, sometimes people are playing catch-up after the holidays, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Businesses could be, uh, you know, not doing as well. That's their slow time of year, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The Google trends on Ethereum and Bitcoin are down. The news on Bitcoin and Ethereum is like, I mean, mostly now that it's crashing. I mean, I guess it's crashing. It's still it's still uh, $10,000 above the previous all-time highs in 2017. So, you know, there's a lot of FUD over here. There's a lot of bullish news kind of going under the radar, like Mara buying $150 million of Bitcoin for their treasury. The second NASDAQ company to do that at 30, 30, right around 31,000, 30,800 or 31,800. Same for MicroStrategies. They bought another 10 million, which is really nothing for them. I mean, com compared to the fact that they've done over a billion previously, they did that around 31,000. So, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that MicroStrategies and Mara has some pretty smart dudes over there. I mean, Mara mines it, so for them to have the faith to put that much money actually into Bitcoin, or maybe they're just yellow on it, you know? They're yellow on it at Mara, the executives have already, they've already cashed in and they don't care, and now they're just trying to squeeze more juice. But me personally, I think it's going up, as I mentioned, this is going a bit quicker than I thought, but I thought we would break this. I thought we would go down and then blast back off. I think the Chinese New Year, uh, February is going to help a lot with this. We got the meeting with Michael Saylor and a bunch of companies. February 8th. I don't know how long that's going to take. Yeah, there you go. Harvard and Yale, they've been buying. They've been buying for a long time, I believe. I think the news is just kind of coming out on that, to be honest. So now it's, there is definitely, I mean, the wells are trying to squeeze as much as they can right now. And that's going to continue to happen as it goes up. That's, that's one of the hard things about investing in crypto. Those wells are constantly going to manipulate and squeeze all, a lot, of, a lot, I would say 60, 70, 80% of retailers are going to get into this. They're going to FOMO into this. They're going to FOMO into it. Like no one is, I bet a lot of retailers out there right now are like, man, I don't want to buy it right now. Bitcoin's crashing. I'm going to wait for it to get cheaper. The next thing you know, Bitcoin skyrockets, Ethereum skyrockets, and it blasts off quick. And trust me, boys and girls, it can happen quick both ways. 
And then the next thing you know, Bitcoin's $57,000 and you're like, I got to get into this. The whales see all this retail stuff coming in. They start selling again. They start, they start leverage shorting the market. So they're making money selling and leverage shorting. So they're making money hand over fist, taking your Bitcoin away from you. Most of you hear this and you're like, nah, man, I can, I can do it. I can do it. I don't care. Then the shit gets real and you can't handle it. You get shaken out and you just, you lose money. It's tough, man. Like even for me, I am losing a lot of money today, but I ain't worried about it. I've already, I've already told myself I'm going to be buying private islands, Ferraris, helicopters, G5 jets in the next five years, or I'm living under the overpass with the cardboard sign. It ain't that bad. I mean, I'm exaggerating some, but not much. And there might be a point like I might, I might become weekends. I don't think so. It's going to get really ugly if both the stock market and crypto crashes like 50%. And then Tom over here is going to need uh, some pretty big, pretty big brawny towels to wipe up the tears. We're going to put the brawny towels to the test. This is just continuing to be a bloodbath in crypto. I don't even want to come over like yet. Yesterday morning, I bought 300 dot and staked it. Boy, was I an idiot. I should have waited till today. I mean, I guess I bought it with Ethereum, so I would have been down one way or the other. I think I bought some more Ethereum yesterday. Should have waited. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to go down more, and like an idiot, I bought more. I had a plan, and I didn't stick to it. That's, that's the... That's the uh, that's what you need to learn here. I had a plan that I thought if Bitcoin was going to come down to like 30, 29,000, I was going to buy more. If it went down to like 24, 25,000, I was going to back up the truck. I entered a little early, not too early, a little early. I still have a plan. I'm telling you right now, boys and girls, if Bitcoin if Bitcoin starts flirting, I don't if it happens though, I think it's gonna be quick. We're coming on this trend line right here. We're gonna to have to see what happens. If Bitcoin comes down to twenty four thousand, twenty or twenty six to twenty four thousand, possibly like right now today, I think this twenty three thousand six hundred, twenty four thousand, I might just go all in. Just all in. Sell my Tesla. I don't know that I could get my money into the market quick enough, though, because I'd have to sell my Tesla, withdraw the money. That takes a day, sometimes two, depending on what time of day I withdraw it. And then I would have to buy, like, my cap would be 25000 at Coinbase at their ridiculous fees, 5000 at Binance. Would I really have the balls to do it? I think so. I think it, it might be the move. We keep having all new time in every category because of the massive inflation about to hit the world. Yeah, uh, so why would inflation, I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, I mean, I think it's a lot more than that. There's a lot going on. You got, oh, and inflation is definitely helping because smart people want to put their money into what they think are good assets. I don't, I don't think it's being, said enough you know how much is going on with all these new this robin the robin hood effect just millions upon millions of these kids just jumping into the market especially these millennials probably but just buying like hurts uh you know things like that just buying everything to get their hands on the market i i think the market it how long can it continue who knows again i was waiting for a crash in 2013 I mean, that was after, in 2013, we were at like four to five years of just insane bull market. And then it just kept going. And then 2018, we had a little pullback. Lasted a few months. It was pretty bad. It was only like 30, 35% though. And then it recovered like crazy. And again, you know, I am concerned about a blow off top. What time's the Fed meeting, man? I should have got into this NASDAQ short. The dollar, the dollar is up a lot today. Why the hell is the dollar up? 
The dollar just keeps going up, up, up. And like an idiot, I keep trying to short it. Uh, man. Volatility is now up three points. That's pretty big. What time is this Fed meeting, man? We need to get this over with. If we can pull this up. Fed meeting. Did it happen already? Stocks fall ahead of Federal Reserve meeting. Is it live right now? Uh, the Fed meets today, and I'll, I mean, Jerome Powell's just going to say, let's fire up the money printer. I, I mean, I mean, F you with your little AWOL. The Fed meeting, the Fed meeting, 4.15 p.m., is that Eastern virtual meeting? So that'd be the same time, about the same time, Tesla, Apple, and all them. Yeah. All right. I'm going to just turn this off and I'm not worried about it. What happens happens today. I, I agree with you. I think it's mostly just fun. We'll have to see. Uh, man, Tessa. Uh, see, this sucks, dude. So because volatility is exploding, Tesla's going down and my covered call is barely making any money because the premium is just getting higher and higher. DMAC in the house. What is happening, my friend, my brother? How you doing? You were the one that has a wedding in May, right? And you needed uh, Cardano to 10x by then? Well, it ain't looking good today, I'll tell you that. It is a bloodbath in the stock market. It is a bloodbath. Is this going to hit? Is this, is this going to be a magical level? 29, let's see, 28, 444. 4. I wonder, so I think another thing is going on. I do think a lot of shorting is going on in Bitcoin right now. And then they're going to reverse course probably in February. Again, I'm looking like this could continue for a bit, but then it is going to blast off probably early February. So it might be ugly. Yeah, 88, 10x. I bag nice. You know, man, I've already I've already bagged too much. I've already like my bags are overflowing right now with borderline way too much size. Yeah, I, I want to buy the dip, guys. I really do, but I've been buying the dip. I have more than I have more in crypto than I do in the stock market right now. And I'm telling you, I'm seriously considering going in more. I really like here's the problem though. You guys and me, we're smart. We know cryptocurrency is the future. We know it. We're the smart people at the table. Unfortunately. Most people out there are idiots, right? The adoption on this could take some time. And then you got a bunch of smart wells that know how to manipulate the idiot. So that's what makes it tough. Short squeeze everywhere. Yeah, dude. You guys probably didn't catch it yesterday, but I was, I was here. I was here. Halted. Of course it's halted. It was $99 and I was at the table i was at the effing table i was going to buy 100 shares of gamestop at 99 dollars. i stopped myself dumbest dumbest decision of my life really the smartest because you just don't jump into things like this unless you've just got fu money i bought so much dip i need some talk yeah dude i i feel you on that i mean i am legit I'm legit about to just say I'm done with the stock market. Honestly, the only thing keeping me in the stock market right now is Tesla. There's some other stocks I love that I think are going to do great long term. You know, Facebook, Apple, Square. Although those stocks will get destroyed if the market does have a huge pullback, which again, I think is likely to come. Uh, but I think there's so much opportunity in cryptocurrency, especially especially if there's a pullback because we know there's still some moonshots some moonshots coming i don't really you know i was looking at the chart and i do see some comparisons to like we got to take a look at how this compares to 2017 so it's already looking like we're at this first like is this is was this the top a lot of people tell you history says no just because of how long it lasts. But, dude, I mean, you never know, dude. There's no reason. Nah, man. Yeah, dude. Nah, nah man. I jumped full into crypto. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm this close to going with you. The problem is, and here, here's how I look at it. If I jump full into crypto 
and it crashes say la vie guys i'm just i'm just gonna hodl it and wait for it to recover i mean what else you gonna do what else do you like uh i was looking at i was watching coin bureau's video i crashed uh, hopefully my spreadsheet saved i crashed dot zilla i oh, zillica i love all those those are on my watch i mean i obviously i love dot i'm staking 500 i'm tempted to buy more dot right now to be honest it looks like ethereum's making a little bit of a comeback maybe no we're we blasted we're black oh yeah so we touched the 20 we're rebounding a bit oh man this is crazy so bitcoin did it blasted below both the 20 and the 50 so it's now down below the 50 and historically bitcoin doesn't spend a lot of time below the 50. uh let's see what happened i mean there's a lot of comparisons right now to the last all-time high in bitcoin it went down and then it a little dead cap bounce we haven't necessarily yeah i mean we kind of had a little bit of it you could call that a dead cap bounce but it's so quick so i don't i don't honestly i don't think i think we're gonna see i don't think we've seen the top is the deal so is there something similar over here yeah so you see something similar right here where it went up and then it went down pretty good and then it blasted off then it had a huge dip again and then it blasted off i know we got this little thing right here so how much did this go down oh calm down calm down mike smith you guys won't get that unless you're a clippers fan all right how do you use this little thing come on I don't think, I don't think, I, don't, I think we're at this, we're probably at this one right here. This one or this one still. So I think, I think we're good. I think we're Gucci boys and girls. This just isn't working out for me. I'm not a trading view. I mean, I, I needed to do the dip, right? That was about uh, 30, 40% dipper. And this was about a 41% dipper. So let's go back over here. Calm down, Mike Smith. So now this one is currently sitting at 30%. That's not them, boys and girls, just like previously. It dipped July because of the B cash hard fork. Yeah, I remember that. With vaccine in the game, it should pump as people going to travel more. Everyone need it in it with it. You guys taking the vaccine? I uh, I might have the opportunity to take that soon. It scares me, but I'm probably going to take it. I'll tell you what scares me more, dying. Remember I told you about Tradoc? Tr I did eight all-time hot. Nice. Good for you. I don't remember you telling me about Tradoc or what that is. I'm definitely going to hodl. All right, I'm selling my Tesla right now, putting it into my bank account so I can YOLO the F out of out of Bitcoin. I kid, I kid, but I'm somewhat serious. All right, the Nasdaq's starting to make a little rebound. I'd like to see my P&L go green. I'm not going to lie. Eh, what, at the end of the day, we're down a few grand. No big deal. I mean, it is. It sucks. Down days are, man, down days make doing your real, real life job not as much fun. You sit there worrying about how much money you're losing. Is the market going to crash? All right. All right, SGG. I, I hopped into your secret SPAC and I'm down, uh, I'm down some guacamole dip at Chipotle. I guess it's a good thing I didn't buy 10,000 shares of that. All right. So Tesla's, Tesla's trying to make a comeback. Don't make, don't call it a comeback. I need to see what I got over here in my small account. All right, so I'm pretty. What's the expected move in Tesla? All right, for me to lose money in my Tesla position in my small account, it's going to have to go more than one standard deviation right here. The standard deviation I have. Oh, I still love this play. There's only 23 days left. So here's the deal. A lot of people are going to buy Tesla calls today, and they're idiots, I guess. 
I mean, if you, but the problem is Tesla IV is 135%. That IV is going to shrink like a mofo tomorrow. That is why it's a good idea to put earnings plays on. You know, today I might, again, I'm going to live stream today. I'm shooting for 1230. My nurse friend took the Moderna and her feet went numb. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, so I hear Bell's palsy, but I think that's mostly in the face, right? It's kind of a side effect. I'm okay with, dude, my feet go numb for 24 hours now. Like, I think I have some kind of nerve problem. So, I mean, uh, I mean, it is what it is. Again, it scares, it scares the hell out of me. Yeah, dude, I told you to check the video or something. <laughs> don't worry about it, man. I, I don't got, I, I'm glad you made money in it. I don't, I, unfortunately, I wish I could just sit here and trade all day long, trade stocks all day long, trade. And just sit here and deep dive into cryptos, deep dive into more stocks. Right now, I'm less interested in stocks just because I think, you know, I've mentioned it a few times. I think it's way too frothy. Uh, I think this could be a rough year for stocks. I'm, I'm, I would be more inclined to get short this year. December 10th, you did. December 10th, you told me about it. And you got some conviction. I believe you, man. Good call. I'm glad you made many money on it. Uh, all right, so again, I will be live stream again today, 1230. I'm shooting for 1230. I tell, yeah, brother, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> I'll have to go look that up if I got time. And let me tell you, I don't, I don't have time to be streaming right now, to be honest. I've got a pretty, pretty packed day. We're going to squeeze in those earnings plays, though, because it's, it's one of the biggest earning days of the year. I think today's earnings could set a tone for how the stock market I think today is going to set a tone. We're going to have to see what kind of tone it sets for the stock market. We're going to have to see what this Fed says. The Fed should be coming. The Fed reports about the same time. So I'll start the stream about 1230. Tesla, I don't think Tesla numbers come out till 130. So that's about an hour later. I don't remember if Facebook and Apple are right after the bell. We might put some plays on. Again, it's a lot harder for me to... Yeah, I am, brother. 12.30 PST. Let's have some fun with Tesla, Apple, and Facebook. I'll probably put some plays on, even though I feel like I can't afford it right now because I'm, I'm down so much money. But that's a lot of what I want to do going forward is do have some fun at both the opening and the close. It's just, for me, it's just Bitcoin. Don't call it a comeback. Are we already making a comeback? So it is bouncing. We got close to that trend line of mine. Oh, did we touch it? Am I, I told you guys I'm, I'm the best TNA guy, TNA guy on the internet. None of these other people know what the F they're doing. We got close to it. We got close to it. Yesterday, you guys missed. Smash, like, subscribe, bell the button. Go, 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 go. I am better than MMO Crypto at TNA. I am better than... Ivan on tech, it's Tom on tech over here. Actually, we didn't touch it, we got close, we wicked down. It might not be over boys and girls, but it is wicking. So we got some support going on. Let's take it, look at Ethereum. It did come, look at this, I'm amazing boys and girls. It came down to my other trend line right here. My trend line is off a little. You can see I got a little bit of space there. So if I were to, if I were to adjust this to where it should be, I think we're like, so let's, and this is all me. This is my fault. So let's, there we go. I, would, I need you guys to go over to MMO Crypto, BitBoy, Tyler S. Tell them they don't know what the hell they're talking about. The world's greatest technical analysis person on the planet is crushing it over here. I called it yesterday. I said Bitcoin. I didn't expect it to happen this fast. Pretty, pretty, pretty good, was it? I don't know that much is going to happen today. Typically, after test earning calls, it flattens out, and then some other catalyst comes in. But there's a, so I'm not expecting much in Tesla today. Donny Decree, his video today. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling him up for sure. After I get off line, I'm going to pull him up, see what's up. I found a couple of other decent YouTubers. There's this guy Denome I like. He has pretty good analysis. I enjoy Tyler S, to be honest. Again, 
I'm not, I don't put a lot of stock into technical analysis, even though I am. You be sure to let all the other YouTubers out there, they don't know what the F they're doing. We got this guy over here that is just crushing the TNA. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna check out this sunny degree. Check out Denome. Uh, again, I, I personally think Coin Bureau has one of the best channels. He did a video on Matic yesterday. We got to add, let me see if my, because I am, again, I am mining the Ethereum. I am overclocking my video card. I went off the rails. I'm considering buying rigs, buying miners. I'm out of control. But uh, I figure, I don't even want to tell. It's just bad, 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 bad. I'm, I'm not even going to put it out on the internet, what I'm thinking, what's going through my head, because I would, God forbid anyone follows me into it. It makes a lot of money or loses a lot of money. Let's see if my spreadsheet saved because overclocking my video yesterday caused a couple crashes. I to, if I have to start the spreadsheet all over, all right, I think we're in good shape. So I need to add Matic. We're going to add Matic. I like what he had to say about Matic. We're going to put that on the radar. I'm already, oh no, I'm not in that one. So these are all the ones I'm looking at right now. To possibly invest in i also want to invest in xlm i haven't we're gonna have to see how this plays out i'm about to fall yeah dino yeah i like him man i really like he has i like look i look i have nothing against bitboy has some value now and then and some of these other youtubers but they're mostly just pump 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 uh, you know i i i want to hear good thoughts i want to hear both sides i want to hear just like good all around logical thinking. When it's just like Bitcoin or Ethereum's going to 50,000, I pretty, you know, whatever. So, but again, there's a lot of good value in some of these other channels, but me personally, like I, I don't, I rewatch even a lot of Coin Bureau's videos because he does a really good deep dive on a lot of stuff. And I really like, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Coin Bureau, but he's a little closer to the tinfoil hat at times than i i would personally care for i mean i kind of kid but i'm kind of serious anyway let's uh wrap this up let's see how things are doing i bet the bitcoin the bitcoin still doing a little more bounce than the ounce a diddly diddly d all right yeah so it's making a little bounce is this gonna be a little dead cat bounce i still think it has a good chance to flush down eventually to this trend line so if it happens today i guess that would be better versus if it happens which I still think is in play. Like, again, I don't, I think this is going to be a rough ride for the next week or two, even possibly up into the February 8th Michael Saylor thing. So if it goes all the way down to even February 6th, we could still see 24,000. It's going to, so if this continues to go down, it's going to push these EMA downs. But I mean, for it to get here by there, it's going to be well below the 50. That doesn't happen a lot. I mean, it happens some, but it, and when it does, it lasts. So this, the last time it was one, two, three, four, five, you know, about 10 days, seven to 10 days. Uh, let's see, we got this one. This one lasted, you know, a couple, two, three. Let's see, we'll go March, 7th of March. Really, it was kind of ugly for about six weeks. Uh, here's another one. It was really long. Here's another one. It was so it could be pretty ugly. And if it if it goes down below it, it's going to continue to go down again. I don't think so. I did make this trend line right here. I think this is the trend line that it's going to follow. I made this one. It's a bit old, you know. They say the trend's your friend. Uh, the crypto lark is cool. I'm going to check. All right, so I'm checking both out. The crypto lark. I gotta I gotta write these down before. So, cause I, I I know you. You're gonna you're gonna retract your messages. I, I'm okay with that, but I think that's smart. But uh, I'm not gonna remember. So, pretty pretty good. So we got sunny sunny in Philly. Was that who it was? It's always sunny. Where was it? The lot sunny decree. I don't know if you guys follow um, uh, Frank Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Frank Reynolds guy on Twitter that's kind of funny. Sometimes he's a little ridiculous. But the Crypto Lark, I think I've seen him pop up. We'll have to, I'm going to check these dudes out after the stream, which is going to be very quick. Got to get back to work. Got to get back to the job that pays. One of these days, 
we're going to be retired. All of us are going to be retired. We can get private islands next to each other. Where do you guys want to live? The Bahamas? You know, I, there's a lot of hurricanes going on. I don't know how good of an idea that would be. I don't know if there's any, the Galapagos Islands, but don't they have a lot of Komodo dragons that want to eat us? Anyway, uh, Bitcoin's still looking pretty ugly. Let's see what the, let's really drill down into this. 15 minutes green. Nice little spiker. Let's go to the one hour. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to last. I think we're going to go down to this trend line, possibly dip below it like right here. And then, I mean, it's dipped below pretty bad right here. So we'll see. Again, my thesis is, is all this is in play right here for a while, and then it's going to moon up. All right, guys, I will be back 1230. I love you guys. Hopefully you can make it. Uh, I will try and put some trades on, though they're shrinking. They're shrinking right now because I'm down a lot of money, but we'll still put some stuff on probably. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.